getting some of my charts loaded up for the day, why people start to follow in. But good morning, guys. Akil Stokes here, Chief Currency Analyst at TradingPower.com, head trading coach as well. And welcome to another one of my morning rant videos. I see the hearts coming in already. Make sure you're hitting those hearts. Make sure you're sharing this. Good morning. Give me one second again, guys, kind of get my charts prepared for the day. But wanted to talk a little bit about today. Uh, you can see the title is Keep Your Goals. Good morning. Keep Your Goals, Cut Your Losses. And at no doubt, everyone watching this at any point in time, you should have set some type of goal in life. Some of those goals are going to be extremely simple goals to obtain. Some of those goals are going to be extremely massive goals that take years and years and a lot of hard work to, main, uh, to obtain. But no doubt, everyone has set a goal in life. Now, unfortunately, the path to achieving goals isn't as simple as just going straight down that path and reaching it. If it was, then goals wouldn't be goals. They have to be difficult. They have to take work. They have to take thought. Right? It has to be challenging to achieve them. That's how you get the benefit for them. And typically, when you're on your path towards achieving your goal, you hit some type of obstacle. Um, and for today's example, let's just call these obstacles doors. And there's, there's typically three types of people um, or three type of reactions that people give once they get to these obstacles, once they get to these doors. The first person will be walking down their path of success. They'll be walking towards their goal. They'll get to a door. They'll say, you know what, let's, we got to walk through the door to keep going. Let's go ahead and do it. They'll get to the door and the door will be locked. Now, there's a group of people out there that will see that the door is unlocked. They'll say, you know what, oh, well, I guess it wasn't meant to be and they'll immediately retreat. They'll give up on their goals. The slightest bit of inconvenience scares them away and they'll give up. The second group of people will get to that door, same thing. They'll see that it's locked. Instead of giving up though, they have the mindset that, you know what, I'm so determined to achieve this goal. Yep, keep trying. I'm so determined to achieve this goal. I'm so focused on getting to my ultimate end game that I'm gonna do everything in my power to get through this door. Does that sound like you guys out there? You're saying, forget this door. I'm knocking it down. Nothing's going to stand in my way. Give me a yes if that sounds like you. <laughs> now, the problem is, what if this is a very strong door? And I'm like many of you guys. I'm very, very, very stubborn. And my whole mindset on life is kind of like gorilla mentality. Let's bust it until it, you know, hit it until it breaks down. You'll get this group of people that get to that door and they'll hit it. They'll hit it. They'll kick it. They'll smash it. They'll ram it. They'll charge it. Everything. But the door just won't give. And after doing this for hours and hours and days and days and weeks and months, they die trying or at least become very, very injured. Now the third solution is the person that walks up to that door, tries to spin the knob, it's locked. They try to hit it, they try to kick it down, doesn't budge. Hey, Easton PA, nice. Doesn't budge. And instead of saying, I'm going to keep charging and keep inflicting bodily harm on myself until I get through this door and achieve my goal, they say, let me take a step back. Let me take a step back and gain some perspective. And when they take that step back, guess what they see? Maybe there's a little crease, a little crack on the side of the door that they can sneak through. Maybe there's another door that's already cracked open. Maybe there's a key sitting right next to the door that the other trader that was blind with rage never saw. And the moral of the story is, guys, sometimes you have to take that step back to gain that perspective. It doesn't mean if you, if you take that step back, if you give up on trying to get that door open, it doesn't mean you're a failure. 
In my opinion, you only fail when you die. You only fail when you completely give up. And completely giving up is different from accepting a small loss, a small setback, a small delay, and taking a step back to reevaluate your situation and see how can, is there another way I can achieve this goal? And this topic came up at a business meeting I had yesterday. Now, it wasn't a trading related business meeting. It was for the real estate company that I have. And we went out to this nice spot in E-Town. And while stuffing ourselves with uh, full of deliciousness, uh, unhealthy food, if you're watching John, um, we had a serious topic on the hand. We had a property that was bleeding us dry. And this property has been bleeding us dry for about a year now. It's one of the first properties that we, uh, that we um, acquired. We're very emotional towards it. Kind of think about your firstborn. Um, it's the startup. But it was bleeding us dry. And for so long, we were so blindly trying to make the situation work. We were doing this, pulling money from here, putting money in that, fixing this, um, addressing that. So blindly trying to make this property work that we were going to end up going broke. Again, if you ever talked to Jason Grayson, if you ever heard his um, testimonial on trading, if you ever did a trading assessment with Charles Miles, the first thing they will tell you is stop the bleeding. If you want to heal, stop the bleeding. And in this meeting, we finally decided, hey, we're not going to give up on the real estate goal, obviously. But we need to take a step back from this particular property. We need to reevaluate our situation. We need to take on a small loss, right, in order to achieve the bigger goal. And it was my idea, partially my idea, after I had a Thanksgiving break to think about it, but one of our partners was, you can tell he was highly against it. He was so emotional, so involved in his property that he didn't want to give up on it. He wanted to keep ramming that door until it fell down. And my partner, John, said something really great. Looked that, looked that partner right in the eye and said this. He said, hey, man, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. <laughs> right? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it was about that, but it, it, it got to me. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. And the same thing for you traders out there. Imagine yourself being in a losing trade. You know it's losing. You know it's going against you. You know whatever you whatever reason for you taking that trade has been invalidated. But you keep adding to that position because you hope it works out. You're praying that it works out. You need it to work out. It's got to bounce back eventually. Everything that goes down has to come back up, which is false right away. Well, I mean, it does have to go back up, but you can easily go broke 10 times plus before it does. But the best thing to do, just like that real estate example, just like the goal example, cut your loss. You know what? I messed up. I'm wrong. I'm getting out of this trade for a minimum loss. I'm going to step back. I'm going to evaluate the situation. I'm going to see what I did wrong. And I'm going to come back bigger, stronger, and better next time. And I'm going to get better in my trading. That's a much better solution than the person that hangs on and goes broke trying to feed their ego, trying to feed their pride. Who cares about pride when you're broke and you can't trade anymore? Guess what, guys? You don't have any money. You're not allowed at this table. Learn from your mistakes. Take a step back. Reassess the opportunity. Believe it or not, sometimes the more you stare at something, the more blurry the picture gets. For you guys that are going blind like me, <laughs> the more you stare at something, the more blurry the picture gets. Sometimes you have to step, step back, gain some perspective in it to get the right answer. So that's my morning rant for this morning, guys. Do me a big favor. If you like this, again, I'm, this is something new I'm trying. Um, when I post this on... Uh, when I post this on YouTube, hit that like button, guys. Give it a share. And if you're someone that is trading, you find yourself in a situation. I, I spoke to a trader this morning who was saying, hey, Keel, started with a $10,000 account or something of that sort. Started with a $10,000 account. I'm bleeding money. I'm down to 1000 What do I do? Stop trading. Take a step back. It's the end of the month, guys. It's the end of the year, I should say. 
Nothing is happening in the market, trust me. Take this time to step back and game plan for 2016. What have I been doing wrong? How am I gonna make it right? And if you're not sure how you can make it right, go to our website, tradeempower.com. There is a free trader assessment on there. It has been built, it's been up there for years. It's the same one I took when I turned around my trading. It is built to pinpoint your flaws in your trading. My advice, if you're unable to figure out by yourself what's wrong for your trading, take that assessment. Schedule a meeting with Charles Miles. He's excellent at what he does. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to take any action. You probably should, but you don't have to. But what's most importantly is you need to know what's wrong. Because if you don't know what's wrong, how can you fix it? Right? Simple. But it makes sense. So that's it for this morning, guys. Again, like and share this on YouTube. That does a big favor for me. These videos are free. And I just want to get the word out and touch as many people as possible with these positive messages. Until next time, until tomorrow, I guess, with my weekend review video, plan your trade, trade your plan, get empowered, get fired up, attack life, win the day. I'll see you guys.